Welcome to another episode of Doctor Who. This one is called Aliens in London, and yeah, the title of this one has me pretty excited. Of all the first five, this one, the title is my favorite, and I only know the first five episode titles because they're the ones on disc one of, of the Blu-ray, but I'm really, really amped to get into this. In my mind, this episode brings us back to like a modern day London, and aliens are showing up, and people are freaking out. Like, it's a full-on War of the world situation. That is my expectation. Is that going to be reality? Honestly, it's Doctor Who. The one thing I've learned in three episodes is anything can happen. And even when it looks like it's meeting my expectations, it might swerve and do something else entirely. Before we get into the episode, I just want to say thank you for being here and going along this journey and watching this series with me. If you want to support the channel, you can do so either by becoming a YouTube channel member, which allows you to have early access to all of the episodes like four to five weeks early before everyone else. You could also check me out on Patreon where I have full length reactions to this show, Battlestar Galactica, tons of movies and however you want to support. Uh, man, so grateful but the number one way to support stay here watch this enjoy yourself have a good time watching it with me and thanks so much for being here i really appreciate it let's experience doctor who series one episode four aliens in london for the very first time how long have i been gone about 12 hours right i won't be long i just want to see my mum. i'm back Sheree. what did that sign say i didn't quite catch it was it a missing person sign for Rose? Is he in the wrong time again? Did he come back like a year later or something? It's not 12 hours, it's uh, 12 months. Oh, wow. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Aw. It's my fault. I sort of uh, employed Rose as my companion. When you say <laughs> companion, is this a sexual relationship? This is not Firefly. Calm down. Oh! Did you think about me at all? I did. All the oh. time, but... Do you know what terrifies me is that you still can't say? Well, you wouldn't believe her. This is a... This show is really threading the needle well in the sense that it is more or less episodic, but it doesn't feel like it. You know what I mean? It's telling a really great overarching story, seamlessly. 900 years of time and space and I've never been slapped by someone's mother. <laughs> really? You're 900 years old? Yeah. That is a big age gap, we cannot lie. Aliens and spaceships and things. I'm the only person on planet Earth who knows they exist. Oh, ah, not anymore. <laughs> is it like broken down? Are we doing a crash landing? Oh no, not that. Dang, I know that didn't really happen, but I still feel like dang. <laughs> I love how excited he is. Like that this is I feel like it's something that we should be horrified about and he's just like <laughs> This is why I travel for Rose to see history happening right in front of us. A state of national emergency has been declared. Do we know if any aliens even survived? The body has been found in the wreckage. A body of non-terrestrial origins. Whitehall is denying oh. everything. Of course. Denying what? Even when things happen in plain sight, the government still tries to hide what's really going on. Is it dead? I mean, it looks dead. Good God. Oh, come on! That's real. We've got experts being flown in. They're hiding the truth from the audience as well. Get that out of sight. I'm sure there's a reason the show is with holding it from us. Is it true what they're saying about the Prime Minister? What are they saying? Uh, that's uh, Joseph Green, MP for Hartley Dale. With respect, hardly the most important person right now. Uh, <laughs> I did have an appointment at 3.15. But yes, uh, like, and then a spaceship crashed in the middle of London. Why would she even think the schedule would stay the same? Where's the Prime Minister? No one knows, so he's disappeared. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Pardon me, it's a nervous stomach. The emergency protocols. Detailing the actions to be taken by the government of Great Britain in the event of an alien incursion. It makes me nervous that the man with the briefcase is so nervous in his stomach. What does he smiles? <laughs> it's all a joke. It's a prank on the world. <laughs> what the heck? Probably she won't disappear. TARDIS key. Aww. About time you had one. Strange the TARDIS key is like a real key, but still pretty cool. 
there's definitely gonna be different responses to an alien invasion. Some people are gonna party. Some people are gonna panic. Is that her? Mickey? Was it Mickey? Am I thinking of the right person? Doctor? You said you weren't gonna do anything like this. You're not gonna make it in time. Is he? Nope. Uh, <laughs> you know, I actually suspected the TARDIS would be more accurate. It's two episodes in a row and travel to a different time than the Doctor expected. Is there a TARDIS mechanic in the galaxy somewhere? Being the last Time Lord? I, I don't know. I know you're busy, but could you put this on the next cabinet agenda? Get some perspective, woman! I'm busy! Wait, 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 hang on. It doesn't make sense that he would- they, did they even open the briefcase? I have suspicions. And questions. See, sometimes we assume an alien is dead and it's just sleeping. Well, hopefully the doctor shows up in time to save. Oh, he may be somewhere else. <laughs> well, shoot. No, 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 not the military guys. That was just like a, oh, dang, he's not in a position to help her like I thought. Oh, oh, she, he, he is, he is. Yes. Tell the perimeter it's a lockdown. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Wait. Hello. It's a pig. What the heck? Well, that's certainly not what I expected. No, no, no. It was scared. Oh. This is the greatest crisis in modern history, and you've done nothing. Your behavior has been shaped. Why does it feel like she's the most important person? We can only assume that the Prime Minister's disappearance is the direct result of hostile alien action. I thought I was Prime Minister now. Only by default. Oh. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. Okay, so... <laughs> oh. <laughs> they're the aliens, right? We have, like, a secret invasion storyline happening, but, like, entertaining. Like, the aliens literally <laughs> filled these gas bags. Um, it is my duty to relieve you of command. Yes, let's see how that goes. Oh, it's like a zipper. <laughs> yeah, don't scream, don't scream, just keep it in. It's an ordinary pig from Earth. What? They've strapped it in that ship, what? made it dive bomb. It must have been terrified. The aliens are faking aliens. <laughs> it was a decoy. Why would they do that? He's gone. Oh. I was gonna come and see ya. Someone owes Mickey an apology. Five times I was taken in for questioning, five times. And I waited for you, Rose. Twelve months waiting for you and the doctor to come back. Hold on, you knew about the doctor? He's left you. Some boyfriend he turned out to me. <laughs> the way he marched off. <laughs> ah, he's so. coming back, eh? Hey? Mom, go inside. Mom, don't stand there. Just go inside. Just, Mom, go. I think she needs to see this. It's time. Huh? <laughs> that was a murder suspect because of you. I bet you don't even remember my name. Ricky. It's Mickey. No, it's Ricky. I think I know my own name. You think you know your own name? How stupid are you? Mom, it's not like that. It's not... Oh. The authorities are now asking if anyone knows anything. If any previous sight... Oh, no, 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 don't call about the doctor. Then again, what is she supposed to think? What is she supposed to do, right? My daughter, she's with him, and oh. she's not safe. No lies told, I've honestly. It's called the doctor. It's a box. Uh-oh. Wait a second, that, like, triggered an alarm or something. They're familiar with the doctor? It's not just that man and his conspiracy theories? I am sorry. Okay. I am, though. I did miss you. I missed you. Have you been seeing anyone else? No. He said he waited for you? I assumed that's what that Maybe meant. because everyone thinks I murdered you. Oh. Are you gonna stay? Got it. Ha ha! It came from Earth in the first place. It went up and came back down. What? Yeah. Oh, that's bad. We've yeah. really got to fix the gas exchange. It's getting ridiculous. I don't know. It seems very human to me. So she is the most important person. Oh, it's a literal zipper. What? Who is he? Well, evidently he's some sort of expert in extraterrestrial affairs. The ultimate expert. 
We need oh, him, good. Sir. So they we need him here right now. identified him as someone who could help. Unit. United Nations Intelligence Task Force. Good people. If you know him, why don't you go and help? They wouldn't recognize me. I've changed a lot since the old days. Take me to your leader. <laughs> I'm going to turn down his train. You are. How come? They're gathering experts in alien knowledge. And who's the biggest expert of the lot? The doctor. We'll need to know how she made contact with this man, if he is a man. Ooh. So we know we can't trust him. Here's your ID card. I'm sorry, your companion doesn't have clearance. I don't go anywhere without her. You're the curb yeah. line, not her. Are you the doctor? You sure? Not yeah, now, we're busy. Can't you go home? Saying. I just need a word. <laughs> I'll look after her. Let me be of some use. Well, at least she has the ear of the doctor's companion. That's a really good start. He knows about aliens. Why do you want to know? <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to see her have such a human response. Like, does someone, she actually has someone to talk to, right? Like, breaking down makes sense. I believe you. It's, it's alien. Oh, no. Is that the prime minister? If aliens fake an alien crash, an alien pilot, what are they get? This situation. They get us, and it's a trap. Someone be naughty. This man is classified as trouble, which means that anyone associated with him... You're trouble. That's my job. This is the first... Trouble. Not even slightly hidden now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait a second. Don't you kill mom. The only people with the knowledge how to fight them gathered together in one room. They're going to try to kill them all with poisonous gas, probably. <laughs> Oh, ew. ew. Oh, oh no. How did this big thing even fit inside that body? Somebody scream. <laughs> I hit. Oh, I like the blinking of the eye. Wow. Looks great. ID cards. Whoa, 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 whoa. No. Wait. Okay, I don't want to watch the next time. I mean, I'm going to watch it next time. I don't need to see the next time now. I didn't expect a cliffhanger. I didn't, I didn't expect a two-parter. Now I know the show does two-parters. Yay. I love that. But I don't love it because it means I'm sitting here waiting. There was a lot of misdirect <laughs> during the first bit of this show. Not seeing the aliens, the alien crash landing. And yeah, I my initial thought process that they, they might do something that's familiar in a totally unfamiliar way. They kind of they kind of did. Uh, first seeing the alien dead, but not seeing the alien. Then it turning out to be a pig that's not dead. And then the pig not even being the alien, but something from Earth. And it was all a big misdirect to the fact that the aliens, the whatever, somehow have taken over key leaders <laughs> and key figures in an attempt to wipe out all of the alien experts so that they can just rule the planet. I'm going to assume their motivation is simply that. Evil. Evil. It's the greatest motivation to do evil things, of course. Maybe not the most compelling or the most interesting, but it's a classic. And you can't... You can't go wrong with just evil people being evil. And it certainly seems that all of our heroes are right on the brink of death. So I'm sure most of them will survive. I just don't know how. It was a lot of fun getting to be back in Rose's timeline. Even if it was a year later, a year, a year later, I, we got to figure out how the doctor is miscalculating, right? He missed... The previous time, I think he was trying to go to 19, 1860 last week, ended up at 1869, and now he was trying to go to just 12 hours after the premiere and ended up being a whole year later. I thought, well, huh, hi. Uh, we got to figure out why that's happening and, and help him. Maybe he was able to fix the problem with his mechanic mastery there. I don't know. But it was interesting seeing the mom a year later after not hearing from her daughter and uh, I'm glad we kind of got to check in with even Mickey and how he's been the last year just being accused of murder and, and all that stuff. We'll see kind of when 
this episode is wrapped up. I assume it's only a two-parter. When it's wrapped up next week, we'll see kind of like, will Rose leave in a bit more of an official capacity with everyone knowing that she's leaving for an unknown amount of time? Will she officially end the relationship with Mickey or Ricky if you're the doctor? I'm curious to see how that wraps up and maybe it'll feel less urgent the way she leaves this this next time. I'm, I'm just curious to see how that is handled. I don't really care for the gaseous farting element of, of the story, but it is potentially a unique way to help the audience identify who the aliens are or put a big obvious zipper on one or two of them. That, that works too. Uh, it was an interesting episode and I'm just excited to see what happens next week, which I think is called World War Three. And now that I know it's a continuation of this episode, that's interesting. All right, if you are enjoying this, be sure to check out the next one and hop over to Patreon if you want to dive even deeper into Doctor Who, watch full episodes with me and the like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.